Okay guys, we're here with the video before the tournament on Saturday, March 22nd, which is going to be in Levittown. The 11th annual winner, PA Blast. And uh, I'm going to be competing in left and right hand arm wrestling and I'm here to show you a few rules of the trade and a few tricks of what I'm doing. So this is my helper, Dan. He's 6'6", 220. I'm 5'9", 200 pounds. So he's a good challenge for me and definitely if I can beat him then I should be able to beat most of the people in the weight class. Now the first thing that refs really look for when you start, before you start, is that your wrist has to be straight on both persons. If you start out with an advantage, that's obviously going to help you. And the ref will get you squared up and have you reset. And if you can't set up, the ref can make you go into referee's position, where he puts all of your fingers on there for you. And if you move, you lose the match. Now, once you get somebody down, you can go. How they tell whether it's a pin or not is there going to be a rope and if your hand goes below the rope on your side of the table, you lose. Now, that is to say, if we both come down and it's a stalemate in the middle, then we just restart. Another thing that can happen that's very, it happens pretty often, is a slip. So if we go at it and we both try and top roll, we can slip out. And what has to happen then is we line up like a referee's position and they'll put a vel or not a velcro strap but a strap around both of our hands so we can't separate at all until after the match is over. That prevents any slipping and there's going to be a winner afterward. Straps favor more brute strength than kind of hand movement because you can't move as much and uh, as for rules that's about it. The only things you really can't do pull your shoulder across the table and get towards the middle and you can't, obviously you can't say anything vulgar or anything like that. But um, I'm going to show you uh, two of the moves that I learned how to do. The one is called a hook. It's where you angle your wrist, pull it towards you, and drag to the corner. Now, you don't have to drag them straight to the mat. You can drag them towards your side of the table as long as it lands on your side of the table and it's under the wire. So, to do a hook, Pull in and down. You can use your body weight in it and during competition there will be a peg to hold on to to do it. Okay, to show you a little bit more of specific technical stuff, Dan here is going to show you guys how to do a top roll and also how to do a hook. We're going to do the hook first where you bend your wrist, pull towards you and back towards the corner of the table to put your guy down. Now the next one, which is one of the probably the most popular moves in arm wrestling, is called a top roll. Now what he has to do is pull towards himself to get the pressure on my fingers, and then he's going to roll his knuckles so he can see them and use his body weight to push me down. Both have their strengths and weaknesses, and uh, if you're hooking, you want to be a little bit stronger. If you're top rolling, you can usually be lighter and lankier, and that'll help you out a lot. And uh, if you, both people top roll, what you'll see is a slip most of the time. If both people hook, you'll probably just see a stalemate. So it's really technical and specific on what you need to do to beat the other person. Now, me and him will actually go for one and see who wins, so you guys can have a little bit of live action. Ready? Swag, so you go. Whatever you're ready. And go! Uh. And that's one. That's one match. And I'll be having at least four matches. That's if I lose all my matches. If I win, I'm going to have more. So, uh, wish me luck. And I'll have a video posted Saturday showing you how I do. See you guys.